Well, we never expected to lead the broadcast with an attack by Godzilla, but today the Weather Service announced a system is forming in the Pacific that one NASA climatologist called a Godzilla El Nino. And El Nino warms the ocean, and this one could be strong enough to bring once-in-a-generation storms to the west and change the weather coast to coast. Here's John Blackstone. This was the winter of 1997-98. San Francisco had its wettest winter in 120 years. Los Angeles got nearly a year's worth of rain in just one month. Snowfall in the mountains was double the average. 17 people died. El Nino was to blame back then, and an even stronger El Nino is developing right now. Climatologist Bill Patzer. Over the next three months, this should turn into what I call a Godzilla event. El Nino is characterized by a mass of unusually warm ocean water stretching across the Pacific to South America. Last month, the mass of warm water on the right appeared broader than it did in 1997. If it continues to build, this will have a tremendous impact, not only over North America, but over the entire planet. In the United States, a strong El Nino can bring more precipitation across most of the south and up the east coast. Northern states are likely to have a winter that is drier and warmer than usual. Californians know El Nino can bring both bad and good. After years of drought, they are praying for rain. Are our prayers going to be answered? I think they're going to be answered, and, and I don't think it will be too much of a good thing. Meteorologist John Monteverde warns, however, that with El Nino, there are no guarantees. We've had strong El Ninos where the storm track either went north to Alaska or went into Mexico. If predictions are true, El Nino rains could start hitting California by late October and last into the spring. But, Scott, the forecasters warn that even this strong El Nino may not be enough to make up completely for four years of severe drought. John Blackstone in the City by the Bay this evening. John, thank you.